This is a Made Simple Learning video tutorial. Visit our site for hundreds more videos. Let's take a tour of BlackBerry Desktop Software 6.0. You can see in the lower right corner it says Disconnected. The first thing you have to do to get started is to connect your BlackBerry using the USB cable to your computer. Any USB port will work, so go ahead and connect it. If you don't see your BlackBerry being connected down here, you see it says Connecting in the lower right corner, then try a different USB port on your computer. Okay, now I'm connected to Desktop Manager. You can see that the USB icon here is next to my BlackBerry Bold 9700 name. You'll see the name of your BlackBerry up here, and you can do a few things from this main screen. We could back up right now by clicking that. We could check on our device options, which shows my device name. I can change that if I want. I could have the BlackBerry get backed up every week, every day or other periods. I like to back it up every day. And then I could, when I connect my device, I could also sync the organizer and media files automatically. Those are pictures, music, and videos. If I want to be updated when the software gets updated for my BlackBerry, I'd make sure that box is checked and I could use a different email address. If we had enterprise email going, we could select different settings, and startup options here. In this case we don't have it set up so let's go back to none. That's if you have a BlackBerry Enterprise server. Media on your computer and what's your media source for your media? Is it iTunes or Windows Media Player? And also the default here is to check iTunes to get the album art for all your media. And then the default folders on your computer are Pictures BlackBerry and Videos BlackBerry. That's the place where all your imported pictures and videos come from your BlackBerry. The other option with media is where to store it on your device. The best place to store it is on your media card. If you don't have a media card in your BlackBerry, you really won't be able to put too much on your BlackBerry. So make sure you get a media card, and they're fairly inexpensive these days. I've got a 2 gigabyte card, but you can go all the way up to many times 32 gigs. And then do you want to delete all the media? You could click that to delete all the media off your media card. And finally on backup. You have a few options here. What's your preferred backup setting? Full, quick, or custom? The full gets everything. The quick gets rid of email. And then custom, you can select specific databases like just your contacts or calendar. And then where do you want to store your backup files? If you want to change the folder, you'd click there. So those are the device options here. You can also get to those right here from device, device options. Now what else do we have here? You notice here I've got an update available for this particular BlackBerry. If I click there I'd update my device software and we'll show you how to do that in another video. Now the next item down here is applications. Applications is where you can remove or add software or update software on your BlackBerry. For instance, if you've installed applications and you want to update them all, you can do it right here. The organizer is where you sync your calendar, memo pad, address, and tasks from your computer to your BlackBerry. The media, you can sync music, pictures, and videos. And we have another video showing you how to sync the media. Now let's take a look more here at devices. We can back up and restore. You can also delete all the data off your BlackBerry. Or you can delete just selected data, such as your address book or your calendar. We talked about device options, device properties. That's your device. You know, where's your battery? How much memory do you have left? What's your version? And so on. And then if you have several different Blackberries, you can switch between them here. The switch devices, we'll show you that in another video too. That's when you want to switch from an old BlackBerry device to a new one and transfer your data. Tools, we can adjust our desktop options here. There's a couple options here. Do we want to automatically check for updates to the BlackBerry software? That's checked by default. And then the mobile internet connection. That's if you use your BlackBerry to connect to the internet. And in the case of this software, that works with version 6.0 or higher on your BlackBerry. And then where do you want to save the backup files 
and store the organizer data. You can change those folders if you want to. And on Bluetooth, if you have Bluetooth on your computer, you can use it to connect to your BlackBerry. And then over here, we have the help and so on. Check for updates, which will be done automatically, but you could force it. And then a few questions here that you could check. And then about BlackBerry Desktop software, you can see I'm running version 6.0. So that's it for the tour of BlackBerry Desktop software 6.0. Thanks for watching and listening.